Okay, so let's talk about why you're having ulnar side of wrist pain, kind of in this area. First of all, this is the most common spot in the wrist to have pain, mainly due to how the anatomy of the wrist works. So your radius on this other side, if your wrist is functioning like normal, is supposed to bear approximately 80% of the load, and the ulna bears 20% of the load. Great, so you would think, okay, well then why, is my, why would my pain not be over here then, since that's where all the load is going? Well, this spot does more than just bear weight. It also stabilizes. So let me explain this to you. So your radius and ulna are connected, and your radius rotates around your ulna. Your ulna is relatively fixed in place. And as you rotate your forearm, there's something called your TFCC, and there's all kinds of little ligaments that are connecting that radius to the ulna, and that spot is being under stress and strain as you rotate your forearm. Also, the surface area of the ulna is also smaller, so there's less surface area to distribute the weight, whereas the radius is bigger and flatter and broader, so it naturally is better at handling weight. Another reason you might be having pain over here is because your ulnar nerve travels through your Guillain's canal, which kind of runs right through there. You also could be having extensor carpi ulnaris pain, a little tendon that runs over the head of your ulna, that little dot right there. And that is something that commonly dislocates and shifts around. So if you have a lot of popping through here, you likely have an ECU tendon problem. You need to get that looked at. Another thing that could be happening is called ulnar impaction syndrome. That could be when your ulna is too long. So under typical conditions, your radius is supposed to be longer than your ulna. If your radius and ulna are the same length, or the ulna is even a little bit further than the radius, then you have ulnar impaction syndrome. Then your ulna is carrying maybe 40% of the load, 50%, 60%. And obviously, it's not handled designed for that, so that is going to cause a lot more wrist pain. That is, those are some of the most common reasons you're having ulnar sided wrist pain. Um, if any of those sound concerning to you, you might want to go to a local orthopedic and get it looked at.